Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to show you how to uh, do some changes to some windows. I'm going to use this uh, notepad window here and uh, we're going to go ahead and resize it and then set a location for it. Why this is helpful, let's say you play some games, you play in windowed mode, so you have a client like this, and in the macro you have certain things you're looking for at specific coordinates. Every time you change this window, your coordinates are going to change too. So you don't want to have to go through and uh, put all your coordinates into your macro every time you want to use it. It's much easier just to go ahead and resize this window to the window that whenever you made the macro and then to put it in that same location. So every time you run it, it's going to run fine. You don't have to make any changes. It doesn't matter if the window opens over here or over here. It's going to move it to the right place. So it can be really helpful with uh, playing games in window mode. So let's go ahead and create a new one. I'll just call it Window Setup. Put in the Tutorials folder and type Begin. So the first thing I want to do is uh, resize it which is under uh, set size so I know the name of the window is notepad but that's not exact so I'm going to hit no and then what size do I want it well if you have a specific size there's some other commands where you can go through and get the size of it um, since this is the first time I'm just going to pick a size so I'm going to say 500 by 400 and then I'm going to put it in a specific location. So I want to set the location of it. And in this, I can either use the investigator tool if I already know where I want it. I can use the investigator, get a screenshot, so I can put it in the exact place I want it. Since, um, let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to open up investigator, open up my window, and let's say I want it right here. So I'm going to hit print screen and then minimize this again so I can see my investigator tool and I'm going to click in the upper left hand corner where even though it's rounded um, I'll just pick that edge right there and then import it so it gives my X and Y coordinates of uh, where I just chose so if I go back over here and get the name of it again which is notepad but no that's not exact and then hit end. It should now um, move this window, um, set the size of it, and move it to that location. Um, but the first thing I'm going to show you, just for um, the purposes of this demonstration, is I want to bring that to the front to make sure it's always on top because uh, it may be behind my BM screen, the macro screen, so I'm going to bring it to front first so you can always see what's going on. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and hit start and you can see it moved it, it brought it to the front, it moved it to this location and it set the size. So I'm going to move it to a new location, change the size of it, and then hit start again. You can see it brought it right back down and resized it and set it wherever I wanted it. So let's go from there, hit start, and once again put it in this location at the size I wanted it. And it can be really helpful. Uh, the most obvious thing that comes to mind for me is in gaming and windowed mode, so you can always have them in. Later on I'm going to do another video on multiple clients. So if you have more than one, you can set one here one here, one over here somewhere, resize them all, and I'll show you that in another video. But for now, it's important just to get the basics of uh, just one window. Um, once we get into multiple clients or multiple windows, uh, sometimes renaming them can be helpful, and I'll show you how to do that. I'll just tag it on to the end of this, window dot um, rename. Like we know the current name is notepad 
but no, that's not exact. And let's say just client one. Um, before I will run this one, you can see it's named untitled space hyphen space notepad. So I'm going to run it again. It's going to bring it to the front, resize it, put it in the right spot, and then rename it to client client one. And there you go. So it did all that. It resized it, moved it, and then renamed it to client one, which is helpful when you have multiple clients. So you can have client one, client two, client three, and so forth. So have fun. Thanks for watching.